Today we are going to solve the greatest dilemma in television. See this blank screen now. Normally when we start off with the TV, it's nice, colorful, bright. You've got some fantastic movie or some demo film running on it. But today I've kept it blank because the dilemma we're going to solve is this. Do you want a thin, sleek, absolutely top of the line TV that looks like a million bucks? Or do you want a fat, clunky, thick TV that sounds like a million bucks? How about a TV that does both? And I love this, which is why I wanted to demonstrate it to you. We're going to get a close-up of this. Watch. Do you see that? The, 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 the actual sound bar comes down and then forward. Isn't that absolutely amazing? I mean, this is pop-up camera, this is mechanization, this is all the good things, the good feel of technology coming through. And speaking of feel good, everything I have on the show is seriously feel good. We've got this, the OnePlus, this is the pro version of their 55 inch TV. We've got this Bose speaker. And believe me, the reason I'm actually doing this is watch the magic. So I've, the speaker was like this, I've tilted it like this, ta-da, see, I'm, I'm actually controlling it. It's just got a wedge inside, so when you have a party for 40, 50 people, even one speaker is enough and you just kind of change the angle and the audio dispersion becomes even better in a crowded room. Then I've got this Lenovo Smart Display M10. And the reason why I feel this is fantastic is one, the design is amazing. You can actually have it oriented like this or you can orient it like this and it's got a camera, something which, of course, Google in their devices completely missed out on. That and a whole lot more happening on the show today. From pop-up cameras to moving sound bars on a TV, OnePlus has launched its flagship TV with some powerful specs. You ask and Google delivers. Lenovo's new smart display seems to have it all, or does it? We may just have found the perfect party speakers for the festive season from Bose. And we've got some YouTube stars on the show. Let's get started with, of course, all the news coming in from the world of technology. Say hello to Samsung's Galaxy Watch 4G, which has made way to India this week. This is the first eSIM device from Samsung and promises a productive app experience even when you're untethered from your phone. It claims to have a full day battery life, some wellness and fitness features, GPS mapping and a lot more. The Galaxy Watch 4G will be priced at Rs 30,990 for the 46mm variant. And then we have the Galaxy Watch Active 2 which comes in two materials, aluminium and stainless steel. The watch comes with advanced fitness tracking and an updated running coach. The stainless steel variant is priced at Rs 31,990 and the aluminium variant for Rs 26,990. Samsung also announced its new tab, the Galaxy Tab S6 targeted at consumers on the go. Priced at Rs 59,900, the tab comes with an all-new S Pen, an improved keyboard with a built-in trackpad and a dedicated DeX key with new features in the DeX mode. We'll bring you a full review of the tab on the show next week. We're going to start off with this, the OnePlus, the 55-inch, the Pro version. There's a lot of interesting chatter in the market, all these phone brands getting into TVs, I mean, Xiaomi was already there, OnePlus comes in, Honor is supposed to come in, Huawei is supposed to come in. There is a lot of chatter about all the other brands. Sansui, which is not a phone manufacturer, still comes back into the Indian market and there are so many other brands. Last count, 100 brands. But this one does stand apart because OnePlus has acquired a bit of a reputation for themselves that when they do something, they do super premium and their pro version is a perfect example of that from the kind of quality of the display the way that they've actually made this tv look the stand you see out there and then of course that magical sound bar believe me if you want a super thin tv that looks amazing and you still want great sound in a sound bar that can wow everybody that actually comes down and forward this could well be your only option right now let's take a detailed look at this the OnePlus, the Pro version. We keep saying it again and again. It is the season for TV reviews right before Diwali. We showed you the 8K Sharp TV, a 4K Me TV, and trust us, there are a lot more coming. 
But when one of the most popular smartphone brands in the country and perhaps the world, OnePlus, announced its flagship TV, we had to check it out. This is the OnePlus TV Q1 Pro, the more expensive of the two TV models launched and this one is priced at Rs 99,900 and comes with a 55-inch 4K QLED display. Plenty of smart features and our favourite accessory, a motorised soundbar built into the TV which pops out. And this is what differentiates it from the Q1 which is priced at Rs 69,900. Rupees. From pop-up cameras to now pop-up soundbars, we wonder what's next. Just like popular OnePlus phones, the design of the TV is striking and looks are premium. There is a table stand and the TV can be wall mounted too. The TV itself looks sleek and slim and weighs around 24 kilos with the stand. The motorized soundbar comes with 8 front firing speakers which include 2 woofers, 4 drivers and 2 tweeters. You get 50 watts of total output and yes, it is quite immersive. And we love the engineering here. Watch how the soundbar rolls forward and outwards. For connectivity, you get 4 HDMI ports, 2 USB ports, an Ethernet port, another port for digital optical audio and an AV socket. This does the job. The display has a resolution of 3840 by 2160 pixels and you get HDR support up to the Dolby Vision format as well as 4K resolution. We love the vibrant and sharp visuals though at times it was too bright. Another accessory we love is a remote which is very minimalistic, almost reminiscent of an Apple TV remote. There are only a few buttons including a Google Assistant hotkey button for voice commands. Coming to the interface, this is an Android TV with Oxygen Play which is a content curation service by OnePlus. We don't like the fact that this isn't a stock Android experience. You get pre-installed apps like YouTube, Amazon Prime Video and Hotstar though there is no pre-installed Netflix yet which may come in the next few months. Some may like the interface but others may find a few bugs in the software. At almost a lakh rupees for this TV, OnePlus may need to convince consumers a little harder to invest in this, especially with competition from Xiaomi and others. Having said that, the Q1 Pro looks great and is a good mid-premium option in the festive season. And now let's move on to a category that I think is becoming really, really interesting. And especially at this time, when you're thinking of, you want to gift somebody something, it should have a wow factor, you want to go tech, but you don't want to spend crazy sums of money. Well, a smart assistant display is really the way to go. Prices start off fairly well, but this well could be one of the best choices. For about 14, 15,000 rupees, you could get the Lenovo Smart Display. This is the M10, fantastic big screen, big huge speaker. The design also is incredible. Like I said right in the beginning, orientation can be changed around. You can have it vertical or horizontal has a camera, so fantastic if you're doing video conferencing like this because then the camera is right on the top, but you can also pull it off like this. So fantastic in a lot of ways that many other smart displays can't really match. Let's take a look at our review. Priyanka has this story. Okay, Google, how's the weather today? Today in New Delhi, it will be clear with a forecast high of 33 and a low of 22. Hey, Google. What all can you do for me today? Try saying play music or be my Japanese interpreter. Wow, I think someone's gonna be my new best friend. I have a new guest in my home and this one happens to be more than welcome. This is Lenovo's new smart display. So without much talk, let's dive headfirst into all the features and let's see what Google can do for us. Great sound. A display which doesn't disappoint. An assistant which has your back and a design that seems to blend into my home. Lenovo's new smart display seems to have it all. Let's show you why this may be a smart display worth your investment. At Rs 14,999, it is priced aggressively and competes with the Amazon Echo Show. When it comes to looks, this one stands apart. We love the bamboo panelling on the back, which is unconventional for a smart display, but looks great when set on a countertop in a family home. It's not just functional, but it's pretty eye-catching. There is a big 10-inch screen, which may bother some who like smaller gadgets. We love the triangular shape at the back and there are volume controls on top as well and it needs power at all times. Visuals are bright and sharp and watching content will be a pure joy on this display. The speaker grill is on the left and looks classy. You can use the display in both portrait and landscape mode though this is only beneficial while making video calls which seems like a bit of a waste. The smart display also makes great use of its touchscreen through the swipe cards on the home screen which show you weather, recently performed tasks and a lot more. You can also adjust volume and brightness. Using Google Assistant on this display is much more productive than other smart devices. You will need to download the Google Home app and set up the speaker. You can also control smart home devices through the app. I also used Google Photos and created a photo frame out of the display. But if you're more private than that, simply tweak settings through the Google Home app and set a wallpaper on the display instead. 
We tried a few commands and found the sound quality and response time to be great. The audio is balanced because the display is equipped with 10 watt speakers. Cooking with this smart display is a joy since Google is helpful enough to read out instructions. Okay Google, tell me the recipe for pesto. Alright, here are some recipes. There are 8 steps. I'll read them one by one. When you're ready to hear more, you can say next step. Using Google Maps too is great because the assistant sends directions to your phone. Okay Google, tell me the way to Vasankunj. The best way to get to Vasankunj by car is via National Highway 48 and Nelson Mandela Mark and will take about 37 minutes in heavy traffic. I've sent the directions to your phone. And yes, being part of the Google ecosystem means having YouTube on board. OK Google, play the Gadgets 360 show on YouTube. Here's what I found on YouTube. As you can see, I am very, very excited. Just look at what all I have. This is the single greatest revolution I have seen in a long time. This smart display responds well to the privacy debate when it comes to video calls. There is a 5 megapixel camera on the right edge which comes with a physical shutter button in case you want to stay private. Performing video calls is a bit of a pain since you need to do it through Google Duo. But if video calling isn't on your agenda with a smart display, you won't mind this. I tried a video call and the quality was decent at both ends. Google Assistant has been pretty well integrated into the display and the interface offers a seamless experience. And lastly, Google is thoughtful enough to tuck you in at night and plan your next day. OK, Google. Good night. Hi, you found the new bedtime routine. Let's try it together. What time should I set the alarm for? For 7 a.m. Got it. Your alarm set for tomorrow at 7 a.m. So what do we think? Well, we think that Lenovo and the entire might of Google have come together to create a smart display that's well worth the price tag. And it may just give Amazon's Echo Show a stiff run for the money. I love the touch screen, the interface, the sound quality, and of course, everything that the Google ecosystem can do for you. For now, if you're looking for a smart display in the festive season, this one is a great option. And now let's move on to another pro version of something. So the TV from OnePlus is a pro and this is the Bose S1 Pro. Now pro really does signify that this is for professionals. It also means that if you have it at home, you'll get performance of a pro version of that device. So let's take a look at what this could be perfect for. First and foremost, it's got quite a few things that I didn't think Bose would come out with. So this is a great speaker just for yourself. It's a great speaker to take outdoor if you're just going out for a picnic or something like that, a get together. If you want something that is happening outdoor in terms of your, or your own house, maybe a party there. It's also a great party speaker if you've got 40 or 50 people over. The best part, you could buy one of this or you could buy a second one and they can actually connect in stereo. So if you're thinking of really big, you could get two of them. But do remember, they're priced at about 60,000 rupees each. The other great part, it's got a battery built in. It's got a carrying handle built in. And it's great for a workout also. But this has got some seriously, seriously good sound. And the best part, like I showed you right in the beginning, can actually do this and get much better sound dispersion. Let's take a look at our review. This is the pro version of the Bose S1. There's no question about Bose's stellar reputation for audio products. So when we got our hands on the stereo beauty from Bose, we couldn't wait to put it into action and belt out some tunes on it. This is the Bose S1 Pro, a stereo speaker that Bose has positioned as a multi-position stereo system. The speaker has a compact frame and a handle, so it's pretty portable. The design is such that it can be placed like this at a wedge angle or in various other angles or it can simply lie flat. The design might be compact, but the same cannot be said for the sound. The S1 Pro is an absolute powerhouse. It consists of three 2.25-inch drivers and one 6-inch high excursion woofer driven by a built-in power amp. We played a heavy metal tune and it offered impressive clarity with absolutely no distortion. The speaker doesn't offer a sweet spot as such since it disperses sound and so it is ideal for a party. And when paired with a second S1 Pro, the stereo audio output is significantly enhanced. 
But who is this pro stereo speaker truly meant for? Well, with all the professional controls on the back, it is ideal for a DJ or even for musicians. It will outshine your party, of course, and Bose says that this speaker is meant for an ideal crowd of around 50 people. It is a PA speaker and it is perfect for announcements indoors or even outdoors. There is a battery on board so it can be switched on without power and it will last around 11 hours of continuous use. The Bose S1 Pro hits all the sweet spots of a stereo speaker. Yes, it is not cheap at 60,624 rupees for one speaker, but it is loud, offers crisp sound and outdoes most other speakers in this category. Although the real star of the S1 Pro is its unique design and the versatility in sound that it offers because of that. Get this if you are a budding musician or if you are an audiophile looking for a great sound system for your parties. And now let's move on to a story I promised you last week, right at the end of the show, one of our big stories of the week, and this is on YouTube. Now remember, a lot of you out there either consume a lot of YouTube or create a lot of YouTube content. And this is perfect for all of you. YouTube has these events where they get people that are creating the content, people that want to create content, people that have become absolute legends in YouTubing, all of them together, they have these workshops, they have these fantastic spaces that they create. And this is not just something they do for an hour or two. It carries over three to five days. I went and actually attended one of these and I came back absolutely stunned. Take a look at my story. We love it when women take center stage. YouTube recently organized its first ever Next Up Women to Watch event at a pop-up space in Delhi to support the women creator community on YouTube. Over the last few years, YouTube has seen a surge of unconventional content created by women. So we chatted with some popular YouTubers who have made a mark and asked them, why YouTube as a platform? So when I first put my first video, which was obviously shot in my drawing room, and it was like a favor I asked for my friend to shoot on a DSLR, uh, it received some response and not just within my circle of people from people I didn't know and that was a real shock I was like I just made this for my friends where are all these people coming from you know so that was a shock and I think as and when the response started getting bigger and as and when I realized this is turning into a thing I started to do more so when I started like seven years back uh, I don't remember there was any other platform which was right existing like Instagram or Facebook, so that's why I started with YouTube. We basically only knew some sources where we could showcase our talent, that was reality shows or some sort of show that was happening in and around. Yeah. But what we thought was the three people sitting at the judging panel who obviously are trained at what they do, but it's their perspective on our talent, show, right? Yeah. So it's basically being judged on their perspective of our art. And that is something we thought, why should it be restricted to just those three people and not to a larger audience? And we also spoke to the forces behind this big event. We really want to accelerate that next generation, the, the future YouTube creator. And so the, the contest is um, basically surrounded by creators who have reached that 10,000 subscriber threshold. Um, and they're starting to grow, and that's when they apply to, to be a part of Next Up. Um, and so sending them through this five-day intense camp really helps give them the skills that they need to turbocharge their channels. Isn't there a fear that you're creating cookie cutter, you know, me too's out of the entire thing because everyone here comes in and gets almost the same experience? Actually not at all, Raji, right? Uh, the way we look at it, the content ecosystem at this point of time is at such an amazing place. It's so wide and it's so deep. Literally any vertical of content that you look at has more sub-verticals and genres be uh, behind that. The kind of skills that we impart here, for example, if it is a production workshop, we often see that, you know, it's the knowledge that they soak in like a sponge while they are here. But when they go out there, right, they innovate further. One can only hope that there are more of such events to support women creators across the world. Let's take a quick break right now. When we come back, lots more happening, including Priyanka Chopra joins me on the show. I'm going to leave you with this because this is a series of things that will be coming onto our show very, very soon. Harman actually has come up with 
a fantastic range of speakers. Now, I actually went to Mumbai. I experienced the launch out there. Priyanka Chopra joined me out there. Dinesh Paliwal, their president and global CEO, joined me out there. And I got to speak with them about quite a few things. You can watch the entire show. It's a full 30-minute special, especially to do with their citation series of speakers, which I thought were absolutely fantastic. But here's a very, very quick look at all the things that happened out there at the launch. Do watch the whole show. Our favorite Desi girl, Priyanka Chopra Jonas, is the global ambassador for Harman International and she launched the brand's new citation series of next generation home speaker systems in India. The series includes multiple countertop speaker options including Citation 1, Citation 100, Citation 300 and Citation 500, a Citation soundbar, a Citation subwoofer and Citation tower speakers. While we are yet to experience them, on first look they do carry the brand's signature industrial design and come with some great aluminium detailing. There are other noteworthy features like Google Assistant, a high resolution LCD touchscreen and Chromecast built in. These speakers can be used individually or to build a powerful 5.1 channel surround system. The prices start at about 22,999 rupees and go up to 1.5 lakh rupees. Tell us a little bit about what you thought when you saw these, this series. Um, so we've done this very amazing campaign for um, for the citation speakers and that will like really show you how I truly feel about it. But uh, we shot it recently and it should be coming out anytime soon. Um, and it's, so I feel competitive with these speakers. Okay. Because they're so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> See, I that's like a lot about brands. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I mean. Now, when you look at citation series, we want you to bring in its DNA of elegance, design, super design. By the way, this citation series won that DOT award and the ICER design and innovation award. Some of the best awards were there. And then smarts, you talk about the AI now everywhere. So artificial intelligence based Google and Chromecast built into it with the LCD I know, display. I love the touch screen. So, I was just so going think of that. it morning, I use that at home. First thing I do when I'm making my coffee, play morning mantras. That happens every day in my home. 